Welcome to the game. All right, thanks for joining the channel. Uh, Trick Shot, the ice hockey board game, is a miniatures game uh, with a simple streamlined rule set where uh, you play ice hockey. Um, I was super intrigued when I saw this pop up on uh, on Kickstarter. Um, what you're looking at is I got two starter boxes. One is painted, one is not. Um, that's why there's two. Um, there's not a whole lot of description on the box, but it's not a retail. This is going to be a Kickstarter only, and once the Kickstarter is delivered, they're going to have the remaining uh, copies of the game on their website only. So, uh, if you want to get in on this, you need to you need to go check out uh, Wolf Design Up. They're the the people that design the game, and they're not going to have a whole lot of these. Um, I have a feeling people are going to really wish this went to went to retail. Um, so, uh, like I said, one's painted, one's not, so it's kind of a 50-50 guess here because neither box was labeled, so I don't have a clue. Uh, the smaller box that you saw was a an additional team. Those came unpainted because, you know, you get to paint your own hockey team. Why would you not want to? And then the long box in the back is the neoprene mat, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Um, so, with the box open, uh, the rules of play... Uh, while it's a large book, it's like eight pages. I mean, you know, pieces of paper. It's not that big at all. Um, lots of pictures, lots of descriptions. The game is relatively simple to play. Um, pictures of the models, pictures of the cars. There are a lot of cars in this game, but they're they're split between the two teams and. A lot means it's a large stack, but there's not. It's not like you know, hundreds and hundreds of cars. There's like 60. Um, the score tracker is what you see there. puts together actually puts together very easily, so that one, and when you flip it back and forth, the away team and the home team can actually be different colors. So depending on which color you are and if you're home or away, you just flip the score tracker to that side. The board is huge, um, single sided, but it's a hockey rink. You don't need you don't need it two-sided um, but it's big and it's a nice board it's a very thick um, heavy well done uh, board better than most board games that I've seen uh, where the board is just you know a piece of cardboard this one is really nice now obviously this is the not painted set so I'll get to paint up uh, both teams, and there is a referee miniature, which was part of the Kickstarter. Uh, that will get to uh, paint them up in whatever team you want. Obviously, the, if you watch any of my videos, it's the Pittsburgh Penguins and whoever else. So three teams to paint. Could paint Dallas Stars or whoever. Now, in the unpainted box, you will get these... Uh, base covers red or blue so you can tell the team apart because all because all the miniatures are both sides are the same there's six dice that are custom with hockey pucks and arrows and x's on them uh here's the big stack of cards that i was talking about but the the cards are or they don't dominate the game so don't worry about that too much and like i said you're going to split them between the two players the line cards will allow you to alter the rules a little bit, give you some bonuses when you're moving your players around, and then there's arena cards, which will kind of affect the entire arena. And it's really, the, the it's different, funny as this is to say, the, um, the animations on the cards are very cute. Um, they fit with the game, they fit with the box art, they fix with the uh, character of the models themselves. Um, so, artwork is great. Um, it's just, just the appearance of the box and everything just says this is a fun game to play. Um, I've not played it yet. I am super excited about this because if you follow this channel at all, hockey is my favorite sport and I live in South Texas. Go figure. Um, but here's some of the arena cards for different locations. And the neat thing is, is at the end, they give you a couple of blank, well, there's the Pittsburgh Stadium. 
probably the most important one because you know it's the penguins um but at the end you get a couple of blank cards so you can add your own uh, but you can write in your own and, and throw it into the uh into it so if you want to put your you know your city your minor league city or whoever and then there's some uh, reference cards for the four different types of players Now these models are gorgeous. They're they're just awesome. Um, the detail on them, the the pose, their um, expressions. They're just. I if you're watching my painting videos, I don't paint faces. I'm gonna have to paint these faces just because they're. I mean, look at the grin on his face. Um, I did notice on a couple of them. The the stick went a little lower than the base, playing like this guy. But when you lay it flat, it doesn't. You're not really going to notice. Probably a little hot water and you'll bend back up. I don't care that much. Uh, I'm just going to paint him up. That's another one. This is a center. Uh, see that one? The, the, the stick doesn't go lower. So it, it's just on a couple of them. There's your defenseman. Big, bulky awesome grin on his face whoever sculpted the models it was a fantastic job uh, these are great uh, there's your winger you have two of these first side looks like he's ready to whack somebody and then the ref and the ref is, is your turn counter uh, but it was kind of nice that they gave you a ref model like I said it was part of the kickstarter it was a, a stretch goal and it was a it's a nice little ad um, and then the most important part is the hockey puck which are kind of stuck in these little tubes here which are these little round spots which are a little difficult to get out but um, there you go a little black hockey puck there's two of them in case you lose one you only need one to play okay so this is the trick shot this was the unpainted one um, and if you bought the painted one where it came pre-painted, uh, that's obviously the next one. So we're going to crack that open real quick. But before we do that, let's take a look at that neoprene mat. Um, you saw the board. Board was board was actually really nice. Um, if you didn't get the neoprene mat, the board is gorgeous by itself. But here's the mat. comes in the box. Um, sealed in plastic. This was different. The last couple I've got that come in a box are just rolled up, slid into a box. Out of the plastic, take the rubber bands off, holding it together. And there you go. The print is nice. Like I said, the board is huge. But it's just, it's really nice. Um, it's the thick neoprene with the edges are sewn, which is really nice touch. I mean, all things considered, I think the add-on for the neoprene was only like 25 bucks. So, uh, well done. I've paid more for less. Uh, so, again, this is not marked. So, this should be the painted version. And we're going to kind of skip through everything and go take a look at the models. So, I'm going to see how well these came out printed. The, the test shots that they posted on the Kickstarter looked really good. Uh, but... Did the rest of the model come out or the rest of the models come out the same and there they are a little plastic cover is a nice touch helps keep everything protected these models are hilariously gorgeous um, the paint jobs on them are really good I was honestly, I was kind of expecting uh, hero clicks style painting where eyeballs would be, you know, pointing in two completely different different directions. 
uh, these came out really good. The, the studio that painted these did a really good job uh, for pre-painted miniatures. Uh, you know, you can do better yourself if you want, but for pre-painted miniatures for the game, these came out great. And I have a feeling that when I paint my three teams, I'm going to paint them up similar to this. Um, I am fumbling trying to get this one out of the box. My fat fingers, I apologize. There we go. There's a couple of the wingers. I mean, look at the expressions. Uh, the blonde one on the right uh, has a blonde mustache, which is kind of hard to see. Uh, the one on the left with the darker hair has a dark mustache. I mean, it's just these nice little touches. The numbers look great. They're centered. They're well printed. Uh, I'm excited. I really can't wait to get this on the table. So here's a close look up, close look at all the models. Uh, like I said, the expressions, the eyes, they really did a good job. I'm really pleased with this pre-painted version. Me fumbling to try to get one out again. There you go. Missing teeth. Very, very cool. And that's the uh, pre-painted version. So if you got the pre-painted version, this is what you should expect. <clears throat> and then if you bought an extra set of players, which is just a, another box with the six players on the team. Um, there are six players. Um, the extra one is an additional center uh, for the other ones. In this box, you just get the standard six players, I believe. Nope, you do get all seven. All right. Uh, so you get the additional center. That was, again, that was a Kickstarter uh, exclusive. Six on the ice. Uh, but that seventh player is an additional center, so if you pull the goalie, you have the extra player. Um, so that's it. That's Trick Shot. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you want this game, you're going to need to get it off of their website because it's not going to retail. Thanks for watching.